What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. Hope you guys are having a great day. My name is Farhan. I'm a second year medical student, and today we are going to be talking about leadership experience. Now, before we dive deep into the subject, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and when you do, hit the little bell button on the side so you guys can get notifications every time we post. Just a reminder, we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new videos, so come back on Friday and get some more content, okay? That being said, let's talk about leadership experience. Do you need leadership experience to get into medical school? And if so, why do you need it? Leadership experience is something a lot of people think about as an undergrad. And I know personally from firsthand, that was something I constantly contemplated, something I constantly thought about as an undergrad wanting to go into medical school, into the medical field. I kept thinking, what type of leadership experience should I do? Is it even important? And I know for a fact that there's some of you guys out there, a lot of you guys out there who are thinking the same thing from time to time. So I wanna make it very clear for you guys, give you some perspective um, on leadership experience, and then hopefully you guys have a better understanding and reasoning why you need leadership experience. Now keep in mind, there are two things so far I have said to you guys that are very, very important when it comes to medical school. And the first thing I talked about was clinical experience, okay? So we talked about it before, there's a video right here, but there'll be a banner shooting from the top. Hit that video to go check out our video on clinical experiences and why you need them for medical school. So the second thing you definitely need to get into medical school, other than clinical experience, is leadership experience, okay? And the reason why I say that is because at the end of the day, think about the profession you are going into. Think about the fact that you are going to be a physician, a doctor, okay, someone who takes care of patients, but at the same time, someone who is in charge of taking care of patients. As a physician, you will go through pre-med, undergrad, right? You will go through medical school. After medical school, you will go through residency in the United States for sure. And then you will become an attending physician. Once you're an attending physician, you are the person who is calling the shots, who is making sure that you know what's happening. Because of all your schooling, you have an extensive knowledge of the diseases that you are treating. You have an extensive knowledge of the pathology, which means the bad things that are happening. You have an extensive knowledge of the medications that you're gonna give. And you also have an extensive knowledge of how things happen, about the human body in general, and what things not to do in certain cases. Because of all this knowledge, you are the person who is in charge of a team leading the treatment for any patient. And because of that, you have to have some leadership experience, right? In medicine, there is a hierarchy. And whether you like it or not, it's actually for the benefit of the patient. Sometimes this can be bad, but, the, but for the most part, it's a very, very good thing. As a physician, you are sitting on top. You are the one making the decisions for the patient care. You are the one telling everyone, okay, we need to give this patient this medication at this many intervals with this dosaging. All that information you know, you have to not translate into actual patient care. Now, if you're not a leader, it's gonna be very difficult to get your team to be able to do what you want. It's also gonna be very difficult for you to get your patient to do what you want because they're not gonna see you as a leader. They have to see you as someone who knows what they're talking about. And that's something that's very important for a patient. Think about it. If you are a patient and you are feeling sick and a, and a physician comes in and they're not that confident, they're a little, I, I, I think you have this, so, so we're, how about we just try this? Let's just try this medication. Are you gonna feel comfortable with that physician? Are you gonna feel like, wow, I am getting very, very good care? Probably not, right? No matter how, how smart the physician is, if they're not a good leader, it actually shows on the team that they're working with as far as the nurses, the PAs, CNAs, RNs, whatever, as well as the, the, the patient that they're taking care of. Both, uh, both teams, right? The patient, including the patient's family, and the nursing staff, and all the other professionals that you're working with, get a feel for your leadership, depending on how good you are. That's why I think leadership experience is so important. It helps you instill aspects of being a leader early on. So if you're a pre-med, you wanna definitely get some leadership experience because keep in mind, you don't just pick up leadership like that, okay? There's a lot of give and take and it takes time for you to understand how to work with people. And at the end of the day, being a leader doesn't just mean you tell people what to do. It doesn't just mean you know the information or the content. It also means can you work with people in a way where you, can, you guys can all get work done in a very effective and efficient manner. So that's why I think leadership experience is so vital. 
you guys are going into such an important field where you guys are going to be taking care of patients who desperately need your help. Okay, they don't know how to do something. Some things are so beyond them that only you can provide that care. And if you are not a confident, powerful leader who can get the job done and also make sure that your team, your staff feels well and the patient feels well, then you're not doing justice to either medicine or yourself. Make sure you guys get that leadership experience early on. Now, I also wanna talk about leadership experience from the medical school side, because we just talked about it as a student, as a pre-med, you know, for you guys intrinsically, but I wanna tell you guys what do medical schools look for when it comes to an applicant in regards to leadership experience. It's really important for you guys to have that understanding, have that in the back of your mind, so when you're doing your leadership experiences, you can start to think about how am I gonna frame this for the medical school to see. So the medical schools definitely wanna see that you have leadership experience because something we already talked about, right? They wanna see that you are a leader because you're going into medicine. And as a physician, you are the one who's gonna be in charge of the healthcare team. Okay, they definitely want to see that. So that's a very, very important aspect. We already talked about that. But another aspect that they want to see is the fact that you have leadership experience where you work with your peers. And the reason why I'm saying that is because medicine is a very, very team driven effort. You can't take care of a patient by yourself. Those days are gone, right? Now we have to work with our CNAs, our RNs, our PAs, and everyone else together to take care of a patient. We have to work with our fellow physicians to take care of a patient. And that's how it is. It's so much different than before. And because of that, you need to show that in your leadership experience, you work with your peers as well as people who were younger than you, you know, earlier on in their career than you, and you were able to create an atmosphere where it was a very cohesive effort to do whatever you wanted to do. You were able to get your, your team to work together, and that's so important. We have to work together as medical professionals while we're taking care of our patients. And if you can show that you have the ability to get people to work together, regardless of what they believe, regardless of what they want to do, if you can get that, you can show that you are a asset to that school and an asset to the field of medicine. And that's pretty much what medical schools are looking for. Now, it's very important for you guys to understand that you do not need to have leadership experience in every single aspect of your application. So every activity that you do, you don't have to get leadership experience in that activity. Okay, some things you can just work as a team member, but you should definitely have aspects of leadership in your application. And the reason why is you want to be a well-balanced applicant. You want to be a well-rounded applicant. And if you have nothing but leadership experience, that may not be the best thing because you are now going to be cutting away from clinical experiences. Another thing I want you guys to understand is that you can combine a lot of these experiences together. Okay, so you can do leadership experience in a volunteer position. If you're volunteering at a hospital, you can get a leadership position by saying, why don't I take charge of the volunteer program and help you guys out? Okay, stuff like that. If you're, if you're volunteering at a nursing home, why don't you say, hey, let me take care of the, the volunteers who are coming, I'll do the scheduling. You're taking leadership experience, okay? That is very important. Make sure you have a good amount of leadership experience in your application and also make sure that you have a well-balanced leadership experience. That being said, I think we covered leadership experience really well. We're going to be talking about the types of leadership experiences. We're going to be talking about how you can even get leadership experiences and a lot more when it comes to leadership experiences. But for today, we're going to end it there. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys want me to talk about something, leave a comment below and please subscribe to the channel. It'll really help us out. Hit that bell button so every time we post on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, you guys can get a notification and you guys can know that a new video is up. That being said, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Take it easy, fam.